Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Forked Greatsword. A greatsword that has natural blood loss buildup, which I tend to use on my arcane build, as the arcane stat does increase the blood loss buildup, so I choose to occult infuse these weapons, that way I get both the damage scaling and the blood loss buildup scaled from one stat, which is arcane. Although this weapon does get a higher AR on a keen infusion, it doesn't increase the blood loss buildup, so I feel like it's just more optimal to use on an arcane build. As for the rest of the stats, we have our usual 60 Vigor. We have the minimum endurance needed for both the weapons, armor, and talismans I plan to showcase for today. We need the minimum strength, which is 14, and the minimum dexterity, which is 16, to wield the weapon. And then the rest of the points are poured into Arcane, which increase our damage output to 565, and our blood loss build up to 105. As for the choice of Talisman, my first Talisman slot is always my swap around Talisman. I start off with the Ritual Shield to increase my defenses, and then I swap to whichever I wish, although I probably will be using the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ashes of War. If not, I'll have regen on. And then I have the Claw Talisman to enhance the jump attacks. Jump attacks on Greatswords are already really good, especially if you are dual wielding, so I just want to enhance that further. I have the Crimson Amor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset of the Forked Greatsword, it is a greatsword, so it does have the standard greatsword two-hand light attack chain. It gets the basic two-handed horizontal slashes for the heavies. In fact, I don't think this greatsword has any unique attack to it at all. It just has the complete standard greatsword moveset. So I'm not going to go into great detail about the moveset. If you've used a greatsword by this point, then this thing has the moveset that you know. Although when dual wielding, I do love to use the backstep running attack. I feel like that's something you should always capitalize on if you are planning to use dual greatswords. The moveset isn't unique at all for this weapon specifically, but I feel like that's very effective on the weapon. The Forked Greatsword is a regular smithing stone upgrade weapon though, so we do have access to many different Ashes of War. I'm going to be starting off with Wild Strikes. It has great hyper armor, so you can trade, get some blood loss build up this way, and do some really heavy damage. Finish it off with the lighter heavy part of the chain if you wish. And then in the offhand I have Storm Stomp, so I can get a free hit off this as well. If I know my opponent's close to bleeding and I want to proc it, I can get a free hit this way. That's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Heading into our first battle, we have Volko. Hello Volko! Oh, he's ready. <laughs> already got the buffs going. Oh, I don't think I fixed up my physic. Oh, maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> we definitely have at least one of the parts of the physic in there. We have the bubble tier. We'll give you a nice bow, Volko. You have the the beast hammer. All right, let's go. That Ash of War is so cool. If you pull it out of nowhere, oh, you have oh you have an incantation in the offhand as well, like a full beast build basically. I like that. Go for a follow-up here. Oh, there's good hyper armor on that. <laughs> the backstab. Honestly, that was such a long attack chain. Can I jump that? I can, but I wasn't fast enough with the uh, with the hit to delay it. Oh, we already got a bleed build up. I guess there's been a decent amount of phantom hits. <laughs> I'll take the trade, I guess. Wow, very fun fight, Volko. Full beast build. I like it. Very cool. All the beast incantations. And then you have the other weapon as well. Moving on to our next battle, we have Blackhand Soren. Hello there. What is up, Soren? With the Bloodhound Fang. All right. Ooh, got a buff for it as well. I like it. Lightning buff on the Bloodhound Fang. Okay. I am ready. Let's see. We'll start off with Wild Strikes. <laughs> Decent trade, honestly. Worked pretty well in my favor. We could make it do a little bit more damage now as well. Ooh, nice. Wasn't expecting that right out of my jump. Soren's pretty aggressive. Boom. Oh, that was so cool. That actually gave him the dodge eye frames. Beautiful. Actually amazing. That looks so cool. Oh, but we got the roll catch with the running L1 and the bleed proc. Wow. I don't care though. Best moment, your Ash of War. It looks so anime. <laughs> he actually teleported through my jump attack. So cool. Our next opponent is Dragon Spear Vike. All right. Repping the Vike's War Spear, I'm guessing. Oh, no, not even an actual spear. Okay. Oh, because you have to buff it for the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, Vike. Ooh, I strafed that. I actually went to dodge that. That was the weird part. That's actually pretty cool. Go for the jump attack to start us off. Ooh. Oh, two different laning attacks. Oh, I get it. That's actually really cool. Looking like the full cosplay. <laughs> I do like that. Oh, it chipped me a little bit, so I may as well just boost my Ash before. I was thinking maybe we can land. Oh, this is the one you don't want to be near, just because it's so random. I'm not quite sure how it works. 
<laughs> Trying to get near him. Oh, cool. Keeping me at a distance, though. <laughs> All the incantations, so cool. It's like a full, it is a full cosplay. Oh, this is the lightning one. Jeez, I wonder how far that goes. Oh! You can't strafe that, it seems. Okay. Get a little bit of regen. These all go the entire map distance, or... <laughs> so much FP, it's actually hard to even, like, zone in on this. Oop, dodge out of that. <laughs> Man, yeah. It goes. It's such a wide AoE. I've seen that coming. <laughs> I think most of the fight for him has been AoE. I suppose. Can't even punish that either. These are all very hard to punish. Mostly the Ash of Wars. The buff. I guess that's something you could do. Just make your whole build around like FP because you know it's okay to drink FP flasks in duels, I suppose, right? So people have no problem with that. But he's also not doing anything. I, I can tell like right now I'm just like going for with punishes, but he's not. There we go. <laughs> Let's try to play from afar. There we go. Maybe he's low on FP now. That could be something beneficial for us. Now the melee base fight begins. Oh, Vike's War Spear. Oh, okay, now Vike's War Spear. Cool. <laughs> the melee fight is what I was looking for, to be honest. Maybe the Ash of War is the goal here for Vike. <laughs> okay. We dodge the madness build up. Starlight shard, really? Not necessary. <laughs> the whole build needs FP, I guess. Kind of makes sense. I don't know how mine didn't hit. I understand how his didn't hit because I was jumping. Don't know how mine didn't hit, though. <laughs> Yeah, most of the damage was done through the incantation, so it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> well, we brought it back from no health. No, no regen. <laughs> Interesting fight. The whole beginning was like an AoE dodge fest for me. <laughs> Heading into our next battle, we have Gunneal. Hello there, Gunneal. Oh, Gunneal. Hello there. Oh, with the straight sword. I got the forked great sword. I right, get your buff going, good heal. There you go. Um, I like your outfit though. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. You have just the standard banished knight glaive and some rock throw in the offhand. <laughs> oh, a, a faith build. Okay, interesting. <laughs> got the the standard rock throw. You know, everybody enjoys their rock throws. Frostbite build up as well with spinning slash. Okay. So far, I haven't got hit by the rock there, at least. Oh, that didn't look like a swing was coming my way. It's interesting. <laughs> I do. Oh, wait, that's not spinning slash. Oh, I am frosted. That's, uh, what's it called? I just forget the name of that Ash of War. Sword. No, that's. Bleh. Yeah. The Katana slash Ash of War. I don't know why I always forget it. I always forget its name, though. Nice. A little bit. Oh, so it's like a Faith and Int build. <laughs> cool. Very different. That's blocking my vision, I cannot see. Oh, I jumped the flame, pretty cool. <laughs> it's almost like an all cast build, I guess. Yeah, the roll catch on that is actually very good. Very fun fight. That's why I like mixing it up from using the one sword to the two sometimes, because the swing speed on the one is pretty quick. But uh, the delay for the L1s causes people to roll a little bit early, and then you can chain your roll catches. Our next opponent is Azarao. Hello. Hey. I am not sure what you're wielding, Azarao. Bro. Uh, oh, wait, I'll give you a bow. 
I don't know why sometimes my uh, bow doesn't work. All right, get our buff going here. That looks like a oh, it's the Sword of Night and Flame. Oh my god, I haven't seen that in so long. Remember when that was ever? I forgot the range on that. But do you remember when that was actually everywhere? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch out for that thing's range. Maybe that'll be a fun weapon to use. Actually, I haven't done that yet. I don't think in the showcase. Can't trade into the Ash of War either. So nice. Very nice. Very different, actually. Oh, uh, okay. I'll try the dual wielding one. Ah, uh, I thought I might get a roll catch there. I did not. That's like the bonus of the jumping L1. Oh my, no health. <laughs> we do good damage, though, Rizarro. So, I guess it kind of makes... Oh, we're, we're healing. Oh, we're healing. <laughs> interesting. Well, that's an interesting dual setup. Can I backstab that? No. <laughs> Gonna pull off another Estus. <laughs> oh, the blood loss. That kept him close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will. <laughs> okay. I mean, alright, that's fine. <laughs> this is not fine. You're not supposed to heal in a duel, but you do come across these every once in a while. Makes it makes it kind of funny. <laughs> Because they're used to invasions, they assume you can just do that. <laughs> oh, that broke my place. <laughs> I, I sense a heal coming as well soon. Oh, the blood loss. <laughs> Goodbye, Azaro. Azaro. <laughs> yeah. You say, you know, you, you come in, you're, you're here to duel, you get summoned, you know, it's, it's not, it's not where you Estus. Plus, they're at a disadvantage. I mean, I can have, like, 14 Estus as the host, right? So that's why it's, like, a fair thing. You're summoning a phantom that has half your Estus. <laughs> if people just don't know that yet, just PSA. Moving into our final duel, we have Dark. Hello, Dark. <laughs> Hello. Wielding the golden halberd, I like it. And incantations in the offhand. Hello. I uh, get our buff going, Dark. Guessing you're a faith build just because of that weapon. Yeah, let's go. Alright, I wanted to try a double slash on the Ash of War as well. I didn't really get a chance to switch it up last duel. Oh, a straight sword. Straight sword and shield. Okay, cool. Such a basic setup you don't see anymore. I don't know if you can parry the second part of that. I'm assuming you can because it's just like the uh, Rivers of Blood. I've never, I've never been parried using it though, I guess is what I should say. <laughs> Interesting rolls. I wonder what, oh, blood loss. Oh, I was like, I wonder why Dark isn't attacking here. I didn't know my blood loss buildup was that high on. Honestly, half throughout half of these battles, <laughs> I forgot that these had such high blood loss. They really do though. They have really good blood loss buildup. The, the rough part about that is, though, like, yeah, you have to make space for the bolluses. If not, you're going to get uh, a free hit off from the bleed blood I build up. Ooh, kind of cool. What? I don't even know what weapon that was. Ooh! The full, am I wearing? I'm not even wearing the claw talisman right now. I swapped it over for the Alex, the Alexander shard. <laughs> almost forgot the name of that. Uh, very fun fight, though, Dark. Now let's see how these perform in the invasions. Heading into our first invasion, and we're in the Perfumer's Ruins. Ooh, I like this area. Um, we're pretty close. May as well get our buff going, I guess. And for the Ashes of War for the invasion, I wanted to try out Seppuku, since we have like 105 blood loss buildup already. Oh, hello there, Kami. Maybe even double Seppuku. Kami, no! <laughs> Come back! Kami! No, I really want to test. I need to I need to see how quick this will blood loss somebody. It's not that scary, it's just Sapuku. No big deal. <laughs> it's no big deal. There you go. Get involved a little bit. I wonder okay, that was one hit. I'll try just with the one that's just Sapuku buffed at the moment, so. Oh, two hits. Okay. <laughs> it would have been a two hit blood loss. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
don't know why I didn't dodge there. Although, Cammy, you should heal. This might bleed you. That will bleed you, but you're lucky you iframed it. <laughs> Crouch. It's still going. <laughs> Both of us trying to anime. I'm gonna use one hand. It's actually easier to roll catch with on people that just are rolling pretty well. The buff is now gone, though. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at all. The little range on that wasn't enough. Was Kami like out of heals? I'm, I'm honestly surprised here. I want to test the seppuku more than anything. I don't want Kami to die here, but... <laughs> Kami's not healing, so fun fight, Kami. Moving into our second invasion, we're now in the Siafra River. I have a teammate invader. And I want to get there. I'm coming, Mr. Red. Survive! Almost there. Hello, Blue. I'm here. I will take the heat off you, Mr. Invader. Oh no! No rolls! Wow, look at this. Coward. That's funny, I just had a duel with someone using the Sword of Night and Flame. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I'm here for the fight. August. August off. Blue flask. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the trade. Where'd they go? This have like the high blood loss build up on August right now. August, stop running! You don't need to team with the other guy. We can have our fight here. <laughs> it's it's not that big a deal. <laughs> you don't always need to be ganking. It's okay. Oh, that rock got him roll caught. That's unfortunate. Hello, Mr. Red. I'm here. I got your back. We got some high blood loss here. Let me let me throw on Seppuku here, Mr. Uh, Host. I'll take that hit. Because I I'm testing here. Okay. Get away so I can buff the other one. <laughs> I wanted the second buff. There we go. I'll take that hit as well. Just for uh, intensive purposes of testing my bold loss build up here. Oh, this guy with the double lances. <laughs> I want to see if it bleeds in one hit. I'm on a time limit here. But I don't want to hit my teammate. Oh, well, I think that was one. <laughs> Very fun fight, boys. I will put Seppuku away. Honestly, double Seppukuing with great swords takes quite a while. But I can test on you. Oh, blood instantly! Okay. Very powerful, but long setup. Oh, heading into our third invasion, we have Sir Fluterpot. Oh, wait, they're kind of having a duel, but I don't know if this started out as some, like, gank setup. Ah. Uh, I, sh I probably should have. I don't know. It's hard to tell the context of what's happening when it's a lone host. <laughs> uh, fall door, hello. We have Barbaric Roar and Raptors of the Mist. Uh, get this going. Spike War Spear. Okay, let's go. Oh, they. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. A little bit of chip damage there. As long as we dodge. Okay, that was the sound of fire. Bap. Oh, that was the better aimed one. The first one missed. All right, I'm coming in. Um, you going through your menu? <laughs> I'm glad I dodged the damage there, but uh, unfortunate that that was an instant madness proc. Very unfortunate. Uh, what do we have here? We have barbaric roar. My offhand has raptor of the mist. So it's a full Ash of War build, it seems like. To my knowledge here. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I don't think uh, Sir Faldor has swung that sword yet. Let me just swing it for you. <laughs> it's just it's just the ash of war. Some good bleed build up there though. Decent madness build up. We're not gonna go near because he's gonna definitely use the ash of war. And I did notice that Faldor was healing, so I guess we have a heal duel. I knew I wouldn't get the backstab, so we just went for the L1. These bushes are hiding you well. Oh wow, yeah. Instant madness. Like Swarspear is always strong. Oh, we're getting <laughs> that every attack. <laughs> He's doing constant roll attacks. No chip there. That's that's a, that's good. As long as you run to the side and like dodge it, pretty well off. Ah, uh, I was hoping that it would uh, track a little bit better, but no. Hunter summoned. Oh, you put that on, didn't you? not madness yet. I gotta get madness from that either. Bam! <laughs> it's close fall door. You got a little bit of HP. Oh, I got, I got a, oh, got a dragon breath behind me. Didn't realize that. <laughs> is it a scarlet rot dragon breath? It is. Madness beam. <laughs> okay. Well, now you guys have to deal with enemies. How do you feel about that? I'm also a blue build, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye, blue. I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> I'll keep my regen on, though. Haha. <laughs> Just to simply counteract uh, the chip damage from the things through iframes. I feel like those still need a little bit of attention. Like if you dodge, you, you shouldn't have damage done to you by anything. Although, somehow it was working sometimes right there, but not others. Oh. You're down. <laughs> Hello there, fall door. Yeah. <laughs> Back to our fight, sir. No free damage from the madness. Not today, not today. I think the madness buildup will still happen even when I do Raptor of the Mist as well. So it's kind of like sketchy to do, but I think I have a plan. Because he always does the roll attack, so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that'll change what he does now. There's a lot of FP. <laughs> Give that to him. <laughs> oh! Arrow to the face. Yeah, that could have madnessed me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what kicked the rolling into high gear there? <laughs> Here. Goodbye, Faltor. <laughs> Interesting invasion, to say the least. Heading into the final invasion, we are in, oh god, Scarlet Rock, Rot City. Oh no. Nice, one down. <laughs> Not a wizard, I want that free essence. Quick before I waste it. I think I might have wasted it, but. This is one of the bad, you don't want to fight here. At least I don't want to fight here. So I'm going to go by here, sir. Oh no, he's heavy rolling. 
I don't want to kill the wizard first, but like it's optimal. The one up here. Whee! <laughs> I'm being chased. <laughs> Save me. Got death on my tail. Hey there. <laughs> I can use the ground here to cover myself at least. Bam! Aw. Oh. Hey, Mr. Wizard, don't make me jump on you. I will. I will attack, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> You're making me any less likely to attack you right now with all this going on. <laughs> Yes, you had a choose. <laughs> oh god, another blue. <laughs> it's getting uh, quite cramped in here. Maybe if we go somewhere that's not so tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dodge though, even though it sucks to dodge. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, out heal. I'm stuck on one of the freaking PV enemies. <laughs> okay. This is when I would normally swap to a weapon that has a uh, bloodhound step. Hey guys. Yeah, feel my pain. Feel my pain. Dodge, blue, dodge. There you go, Hunter. <laughs> the little PvD enemies. Hey, Mr. Wizard, what's going on here? <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit scary down there, isn't it? <laughs> hey there. <laughs> okay, where's, where's the sun bro at? There he is. Hey there. Goodbye, son, bro. Hello. <laughs> son, bro, down. <laughs> Only because you spammed magic at me while I was in a scarlet rot lake did I treat you so. That is the only reason. Oh, that was pretty strong, actually. Another blue on the way. I just need to isolate the blue a little away from the wizard. How'd the blue die? I didn't know he had gravity pull. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just getting chip damage here. I can't just continue here. We go this way. Mr. Blue wants me though. I like that. There we go. An actual battleground. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. All these tiny little corridors are actually helping that hammer quite a lot. Couldn't get by it.
All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Forked Greatsword. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. I really love reading through all of them. They help me plan ahead for the videos, so I do appreciate it. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. I will see you all for the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.